Reviewing your site data and who is set to receive your slot request email is very important to do before sending out a slot request. To do that, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a handy report that you can review. On your left menu, you're going to go over to reports and other reports. This report can also be found by going to clinical personnel, personnel reports. Once we get to the reports list, you're going to look for a report called Slot Request Staff Report. And we're going to go ahead and click on that. And this is what that report looks like. Please note that by default, the report will filter to only show you sites that are currently active and sites that are included in the slot request. If you wanted to see what's not included in the slot request or sites that are inactive, you'll open up the advanced search, which is up top here. And let's say that you wanted to see all of your inactive sites. You're going to look at this active sites filter and change that to no. Once you search, you'll see all of the inactive sites in your database. Let's say that you're going to want to review the sites that are active but are not included in your slot request. We have a filter for that as well over here on the far right side. You'll change that to no and run the search. And what you'll see are going to be active sites that are not included in the slot request. So even if you may have someone on file to receive that, if you set the site not to receive the slot request email, they won't get that notification. So if you wanted to change that, you'll go ahead and click on that site's name. You'll be redirected to that site's profile. And on the related information menu, you'll click on edit information and scroll on down to a section called other configurations and you'll see that question include the site during slot requests and you'll change that from no to yes so that if there's someone on file they'll receive your slot request email. Once you have filtered the report to your liking on the report you're going to see information such as a site name, a category if you have had those built in, the settings that they generally offer, and then the site staff receiving the slot request. So as long as you have a name in this column, it means that somebody at that site will receive that email. The next column will show you someone that is a staff on file, but will not receive the slot request email. As you scroll through the report, uh, if there are any sites that do not have someone set to receive the slot request, the row will be highlighted in yellow for you to view, which means that even though this site is set to receive the slot request, there is no one on file to receive that email. And let's say that you wanted to see all of the sites that don't have someone set to receive the slot request. Good to update that beforehand, we do have a new filter for you to review called Site Staff Verification. So on this drop down here, you're going to go ahead and select No Contacts Listed and run the search. And what this will do is it will filter the report for you to view all the sites that do not have someone set to receive the slot request email. You then click on the green edit pencil and you'll be taken to that site staff page where you can assign a new staff from your database or a brand new person to the system. Once you're all done, you'll simply go back to the previous tab and keep on working through that list. And that's how you can review your staff information in preparation for your slot request. Thanks for tuning in.